Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking this week at five you know, major contributing factors to you guys playing well from the baseline, kind of ranking them backwards in order. Today we're on number four, which is spin. And really what I'm trying to do this week, you guys, is reinforce um, you know, some, some really tight focuses for you guys to be able to recover your game when things aren't going great. Because a lot of times in a lesson, you know, somebody will hit a bad shot and they'll say, Brady, why did I miss that? And they'll, you know, say, oh, maybe I didn't get enough topspin. And there's just so many things that go hand in hand uh, in order to play good tennis. And a lot of times, you know, three, five, even four O level players want to pin it on 19 different ideas. So I'm trying to get you guys really narrow in your focus of what uh, is going to help you recover your game and play, play really well. Today being spin, and I want you guys, you know, generally thinking that the majority of spin we're hitting is top spin. So, you know, what I like to compare top spin to is a flat ball. And really the only time that I want to be hitting an ultra flat shot is on a flat first serve or an overhead. So for all you players that are running around the baseline and kind of slapping it backhands and forehands and creating a really flat, streamlined shot, my advantage over you as a, as a spinner of the tennis ball is that I get more margin over the top of the net. So I'm playing you know, a more successful brand of tennis because I'm going to make more shots than a player that hits flat. Not to mention the bounce of the ball at the club level plays a huge key in whether or not your opponent has an easy time returning the shot. So a ball that comes in flat to a club level player where the bounce stays lower and closer to, to the strike zone, you know, regardless of whether that comes in fast or not, the ball at waist level is way easier for a club level player than a top spin bounce that gives you know, the ball a chance to jump up on a club level player. So not only are you getting more margin as a top spin hitter, but you're also creating more of a problem for your opponent with the release of the bounce of the ball on your shot, okay? So I want to look at a couple swings here where I take a few swings flat. I'm going to try to make these and then I'm going to compare it to me spinning the ball and I want you guys really aware of, of what I'm talking about in terms of margin with me taking the net out of play, so to speak, all right? So here's a couple flat shots. All right, so those are flat. I made a couple of those. Even those, that's almost impossible to hit that completely flat, you guys, but you're going to see how low that is over the net. And if you compare that to this, You know, I'm way over the top of the net and then I'm seeing my bounce release, which is just such a quality idea for club level players to be thinking about, is make it tougher for your opponent um, with how your ball lands in the court. Okay, so spin. Number four on my list of ideas for you guys to go to in a situation where you feel like your game is letting you down a little bit, spin is such a key factor to helping you guys recover uh, a solid level of tennis, all right? So that's all I got for you today. Please click like below this video, and if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.